Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's do another Game of Thrones characters and this time it's gonna be the White Walkers. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. Alright, so let's draw this uh, White Walker and pretty cool uh, photo. Um, too bad there's not too much, too many photos of uh, these White Walkers. Alright, so it's almost like a skeleton. So I'm gonna um, just gonna do a line just to represent the slant, the overall slant of his head. And let's see, well, we can actually do it this way. Here's his eyeball. Okay, well, here's one of his eyes. And then here's this basically his eye socket. So it's almost like a, yeah, it's like a skeleton. You know. So we can just, just we can kind of rough in the eyeballs like that. And then we just go from there. So uh, I guess the good part about this is not... You know, we don't have to be too exact. So I'm just gonna sketch this real quick. It's almost like he's wearing goggles or something. <laughs> Not that drawn like this. Okay, so his nose goes straight down. Uh, kind of a funny looking nose actually. So it's got this little U shape there. Okay, and then let's see his cheeks. So obviously, you know, exaggerated like cheekbones, kind of like a skeleton, kind of like a skeletor actually. All right, and then his mouth. So you can see the way I'm doing it. Um, just it's pretty loose, since I know that you know it doesn't have to be exact, and it will still look like a White Walker. You know, we can we can afford to be a little bit careless. And there's, there's a spear, there's a white beer. And then here is really dark because it's sunken in, which actually makes it look really cool. Here is dark and here's dark. I'm just I'm just laying in some dark areas so I can see what I'm what I'm doing because, because it's pretty busy, right? I mean there's all these lines everywhere. So if I can I'll just shade a little bit. Alright, and here's his head. Okay, why does he actually looks like uh, Alan Cranston, right, from Breaking Bad right now? <laughs> looks like he's wearing glasses. All right, especially with the bald head, it's kind of weird. Um, let's see his mouth. If I can adjust for it so that, so that it doesn't look like Alan C Cranston, maybe that's a good thing. All right, let's just keep going. And then his neck. Let's see, well, we can sketch in some of his neck. As his collarbone goes down, let's go to his, uh, yeah, it's got some hair right here, shoulder. Okay, we don't have to do that. We can do that later. All right, let's, uh, let's start shading. Um, I'm a little bit off here, actually. I want to kind of keep, still keep the, uh, the, the, the slant and the angle we're kind of looking from a, from the bottom a little bit so got to make sure I keep that or else it won't look right yeah I might have gone a little bit too fast that's why I don't want it to be off too much all right so yeah the head is like okay so let's start shading that's going to be the cool part on this uh, all right, I'm just going to start with this eye right here it's eye socket I'm using a 6B again, so it's very soft, broad strokes. Okay, fixing his nose a little bit. Gotta make sure to get that correct angle of his face. Let's see how I can tackle. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of lines, and we can go in and. I mean, we'll do some of it. Obviously, we have to do some of it, but I'm gonna try to minimize it a little bit so that um, we don't do too many. Uh, well, might not be that bad. I mean, I'm using a six B, so. so I can do maybe just a few, and then we can concentrate on. You know, getting the main ones, maybe not too many of the small ones. 
you can always just kind of dab it in later so now I'm just kind of trying to correct for the shapes a little bit uh, so that's not too off so let's, let's do his mouth uh, since we're down here yeah comes down here this is dark so you see there's still two lumps right here right so that's important to to, uh, to draw when you're when you're doing this gotta make sure you get those two lumps okay and then his mouth and then you see these lines so they're, they're actually kind of cool so they're like contour lines goes around his lip and then sinks down All right so it kind of so you can see the surface a little bit and and here's the trick is like when it's sinking in it's a little bit darker so if you make these lines right here a little bit darker then you actually kind of you know build in some of this shade in some of this effect that you see here so like here is darker because it's sinking in Okay, so this is too uh, I'm correcting correcting for the sh some of the shapes. It might have been a little bit too careless. I think it's still okay. It'll be salvageable because it's very messy. Okay, here, here, it's eyes. Uh, he's right here, eyeball, let's, let's draw the eyeball. And this is dark. So I'm trying to do the dark areas first. It's a good way to to do it. And also, you know, it's kind of a good way to kind of loosen up a little bit. You know, because when you first draw, you might be a little stiff. It's nice to um, just kind of loosen up, you know, your wrist. Alright. Yeah, actually, a funny looking nose. Okay, so here's these lines. So, like lines on right here, it's it's. It's in. It's kind of in the light, right? The, the light's hitting it, so that's why it's very soft. And then right here, as you go around, it gets darker and darker. So you just kind of have to kind of remind yourself of that, um, because these lines do play a big, big role in in uh, creating this. You know, this the form, the overall form. It's kind of like a like a cheekbone shading a cheekbone but it's exaggerated and it's shaded with these lines right here okay so this is white okay so i'm going to try to leave as much as that as i can and then this is dark and there's some lines going to his mouth so we kind of try i'll try to leave some of that Actually, draw in maybe a few guidelines. This is show me the whole overall flow of it. So it goes in like this, and it's just darker. There's another clump here, so pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool design. Right, let's go a little bit darker now, because now that I've gone dark here, now everything in here seems a little bit light. All right, so I'm gonna. Let's fix up this side a little bit more. Here's this eye socket again. So this side's a little bit lighter, and then we got, and then the brow's got a lot of little. All right. Let's, let's do the eyes a little bit darker here. I'm trying to follow it. Um, I'm not going off too much. lines yeah there's a lot of lines I'm kind of got me stumped a little bit I'm not sure to draw the lines or should I just shade it I'm just trying to find the most efficient way of doing it but then sometimes I'm not sure how much detail I want to put in all right so I can actually just shade some maybe like block it off I can actually do this so here's one bone area and there's another one 
So those are the, the cool areas I watch like how it's stretching. It's like these. There's a lot of little stuff. I might have underestimated this, <laughs> the complexity of this thing. All right, so maybe I can, I'll oh, we'll just keep going. It's not that bad, right? Okay, there's a white area right here. So I'm going to try to keep it so I can actually do, um, let me just draw something like that, you know, just so I can remind myself. So there's a white. There's the hair coming down. Again, it's very, uh, I'm not doing too much, you know, at any one time. I'm just kind of, I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, overdo one area yet because I'm not sure how much details I want. How much time I want to spend on drawing these lines. All right, so this beard right here is darker. It's a little bit of, let's see if I can get the highlight of some of the beard. Okay, so you can see really simple, right? I mean, as long as I keep a few of the, the strands of white, I can play with it. These lines on this side, it's not as dark, so it'll be lighter. Dark, dark, dark. Yeah, should be a cool drawing. Okay, and then eye socket, it's even darker. So now that I'm pushing it, now I'm just gonna keep pushing the level of darkness, right? And every time it, every time I come back uh, to any to an area that I've drawn already, I start seeing a little bit more stuff. Right, I start, I start seeing a little bit more detail. So that's why. Um, it's good to move around because if you stick in one area, you, you know, you, you start to see a lot of things and then if you end up drawing too much of it, that one area, then, you know, you run the chance of it, um, you know, let's say being in the wrong proportion or something is off or the shading is wrong and then, you know, then you gotta try to fix it. It's a lot easier to just keep moving around you know, do the big shapes first, and then you just come back, you know, keep coming back to those areas and, and add a little bit more detail, you know, maybe not too much and just, just keep moving. It really helps. And when you do that, you know, you, it, it creates like an overall consistency in the drawing, you know, so that you don't, so you can stop at any point and it'll still look consistent. All right, so here's dark, darker. So now I'm seeing these uh, subtleties in the shading in these white areas here. It's very uh, close to, you know, like a human skull, well, obviously, because it's all makeup. So it has to adhere to the human form. This nose right here. All right, these little things, yeah, should, should be kind of cool. I mean, I'll probably need a, you get like a, a, a sharper 6B. Okay, now I'm seeing the lip here. I mean, a, sh a sharper 6B to, um, you know, to finish out the shading in this. But for now, um, this, this more blunt one works really well. So this is darker. So now I'm seeing the subtleties, right? So like this needs to be whiter and this is darker. So that's what happens when you start shading, you, you know. At the beginning, you don't see a lot of stuff. As you keep going, more and more things come about because the more shading you put, the more things come out and then the more things you're able to see, you know, where it's off or it needs more shading. So I'm back to this eyeball again. Actually this, yeah, this socket doesn't look as cool because it looks like you kind of see the profile of his face right here. It's not as menacing, right? It's a lot of 
lines up there. Okay, so I think uh, get the idea, and you can see it's coming along. I mean, it's still very rough. So I'm going to finish this with a speed drawing, and then I'll show you how it all looks. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back and here's my final drawing for this white walker and pretty much everything was shown on screen. I just kind of uh, added a little bit more detail and, and kind of went in and blocked in uh, some bigger area just to you know, um, help solidify this overall face. You know, like that, here's a big chunk, here's a big chunk, right here is darker and th things like that just to just, just kind of finish it up. Um, because there's a lot of little details and I, I don't want to draw in all those little lines anyways. So overall, yeah, I think uh, it turned out okay. You know, it is a very cool looking character. It looks very mean. So, all right, so I hope you guys uh, like this drawing. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.